Hi everyone, it's Lynn Dion here from Pink Whisper Designs. Today I thought we'd make a fun little snow day bird watching card. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with this stamp set here. This is a brand new stamp set and this is called You're Just My Type. And we're going to be using that desk and the coordinating dies. And then from this set we want the two little rabbits and this is from the Upon a Star stamp and die set. From this one, we're going to take the bottom of that box and that mug. We're going to be stamping that twice. And this is from the Holiday Helpers Stamp and Die Set. So I wanted to show you this brand new little fun tool that I just purchased. This is called the We Are Memory Keepers Mini Precision Press. And you can see that it's basically a stamp positioner. And it's got that top a grid system on there and then this lower level which is where you're going to place your paper and I am going to put a little tiny bit of tape on the back of this just so it doesn't move and then you will line up the uh, top lid with the pegs so it's a peg alignment system and then you have little spring-loaded feet on this top grid so it will not stamp until you're ready to. So you, I'm going to ink up my stamps using my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I'm just going to position it down and then I'm going to press it into place once I'm ready. So then once I've done that, I want to stamp a second one of the little mug of hot chocolate so I can go ahead and move that stamp and stamp that. Now it didn't completely stamp properly. So I'm going to go ahead and ink it up again. And since this is a perfect alignment, once I position that down, it's going to stamp exactly where I want it to. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for this little desk. So I'm going to press down the grid and pick up that stamp. Then I'm going to ink that up. And then I'm going to go ahead and just set it on top of this platform and then press it down and that will do the stamping. And again, if I needed to stamp it again, it's a perfect alignment. So I can go ahead and ink it up and stamp it again if I need to. So now what I've got here are the coordinating dies. So I'm going to go ahead and attach those. And then I'm going to run this through my Sizzix Sidekick machine. And going back to that mini precision press, I just think this is going to be great, especially if you're traveling with your stamps. And I do a lot. I'm always at friends' houses doing crafty projects, or I take it with me when I go on vacation. So I just love the idea of this little mini press. So now I'm going to use my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens in beige and dark brown to color in this desk. So these Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens are a water-based pen with a fine detailer tip on it. And here I'm going to start with my lightest color and then I'm going to add the darker color and then pull in towards the center. And I'm using the blender pen to do my blending. And if it gets too dark, you can clean it off on a scrap paper. And if you're changing colors, you want to scribble it on your scrap paper until it goes clear and then you'll know that it's clean. And you could also use a water brush here to do your blending as well. Um, but I prefer this little blender pen. It just, it's got just the right amount of uh, moisture in it. And it seems to blend really well in these tiny little areas. So I'm going to go ahead and continue blending this. And then I'll catch up with you in a minute.
So here you can see this up close. So now the next thing we want to do is color in the little bunnies. And I'm using light gray and gray. And again, I'm starting with that lighter color. I'm going to add a little bit of that darker color for some shadowing. And then I am going to add the sugar almond pink to the cheeks and the nose on the little bunny. And then I'm going to blend this out. And I'm going to try to keep the top of his face there the lightest. So you can see here that I'm starting to remove some color. It's getting a little bit too dark. I wanted to keep the little back area here a little bit lighter. So I'm just picking up color and removing it on my scrap paper and then continuing to blend that out. And I did the second one the same way, and you can see that up close. So with geranium red and light carmine, I'm going to color in this box. This is the bottom of the box. And I know you're probably wondering, what am I doing? But I'm going to be using this as the little stool or a little um, desk chair to sit the bunny on. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to keep the center the lightest. So I'm just putting the colors around the edges and then pulling in towards the center. And that'll give it a little bit more of a three-dimensional look here. So you can see that up close. Now with light gray, I'm just going to give a little touch of gray around those uh, marshmallows. And then I'm going back to those same two pink and red colors again to do the little hot chocolate mugs. And again, keeping the center the lightest. And I did both of those the same way. So now I'm going to grab this largest die from the outside in stitched rectangle stackable dies. And this is the Snow Day Remix Petite Paper Pad. And we're going to go in the portrait direction. But you could go either way. But I want this to kind of look like the wallpaper. And then I have a second piece of white cardstock. This is the Bristol Smooth White. And I'm going to die cut both of those, and I only need a little portion of the white. So my card will measure four and a quarter by five and a half, and it's a standard top folding card. And for this second smaller white piece, we're going to create the floor and the little uh, trim work around the top of the floor. So the trim work is about a quarter of an inch, and that second piece is probably about three quarters of an inch. So now what I want to do, that's going to have stitching around the, the two sides and the bottom. And I want to stamp this with my wood grain backdrop stamp. And I'm just going to attach this again with a little bit of tape. And I did decide here, since my wood grain backdrop is so large, I didn't want to get ink all over the platform here. So I did go ahead and pick up the stamp. And then I decided to put a little piece of scrap paper in there just to protect the base of this so I wouldn't have to clean it off afterwards. But you certainly could just take a baby wipe when you're done and clean that off. So I'm going to go ahead and place this back in my positioner. And then you can see that even though the stamp hangs over the edges, um, I can still work with this. So I'm using my Hickory Smoke Distress Oxide Ink. Again, I'm lining this up and stamping it. And now I can just go ahead and ink that up again if I need to and stamp it one more time. But I thought that looked pretty good, so I'm just going to remove that scrap paper there. And then I can go ahead and clean off my stamp. Now, using that same Hickory Smoke Distress Oxide, I'm just going to add a little bit of color to this entire floor. And I'm just going to just kind of rub that on adding a little extra color to the two sides and again keeping the center the lightest. 
And then I'm adding a little extra color along the top edge that's gonna line up with this uh, trim work. And on the trim work, I wanna add a little bit of a shadow there, right in the corner where the two meet. So now using my quarter inch double-sided tape, I'm gonna go ahead and put tape on all of these pieces here. And I'm gonna attach this wallpaper to the card here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach the floor. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach this little piece of trim work. Again, keeping that shadowed part down towards the bottom here. So now I wanna place a window right up there above the flooring. And this is from the Wonderful Window Die Set. And I'm gonna go ahead and place it on some Bristol Smooth Paper and run it through my Sizzix Sidekick machine. And I am gonna keep that little tiny heart there because I'm gonna be putting that back in when we're done. So going back to the Snow Day Remix Paper Pack, I'm gonna select this paper here that has this little scene on it, which I just think is so adorable. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue tube, Lawn Fawn glue all over the back of this window and I'm just gonna position it so that that little bird is showing and that little bunny rabbit as well. But you can see there you have other little areas of this paper that you could select as well. So I'm just gonna trim this all the way around and that's gonna give us this great little scene. So I want to place that little heart back in the window. So I'm just going back to that light carmine color and I'm gonna color that in Add a little dot of glue there and place this back in the window. And I'm using my Marvy Jewel Picker to pick this up. So now I just want to position this window and the desk below it. So I'm going to bring this uh, window down maybe about a half inch from the very top of the card and center it on my card. I've placed glue all over the back. And I'm going to also position the desk down as well. And that's gonna go right below that window. Now using some Scotch foam mounting tape, I'm gonna attach all these little pieces. So I'm gonna pop up the little bunnies and the little mugs as well. Now that little bunny is gonna be sitting on the stool and so I want to line those two up and I want to make sure that he's sitting, he looks like he's kind of overlapping that stool. So I'm cutting away a little bit of that foam tape and I'm going to put some regular glue here and then I'm going to attach those two together and just kind of move that around till I get the right position there. And then you can see how cute this is now. He has a little, de a little desk chair that he's sitting on here. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop up the little baby bunny and the two little mugs of hot chocolate as well. Now for the little mugs, I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter to the marshmallows. And this is the glitter pen from Lawn Fawn. And then with my white Jelly Roll gel pen, I'm gonna add some little polka dots to each of those mugs. And here you can see this card up close and I don't know, there's just something about it that just is so peaceful and just so, uh, just pretty. And I think it would be a great card for anything. You know, thinking of you, friendship, um, just a birthday card, whatever you want. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to visit me at pinkwhisperdesigns.com. And as always, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.